The tale of Silent Hill 2 begins with an ordinary man named James Sunderland, who receives an extraordinary letter. This isn't just any letter, mind you, it's a letter from his dearly departed wife, Mary. Yes, you heard it right. From beyond the grave, Mary seems to have penned a message imploring James to meet her in their special place in the enigmatic town of Silent Hill. This leaves James in a state of bewilderment, sorrow, and an uncanny sense of hope. Could Mary truly be alive, or is this some cruel joke? The mystery of the letter becomes the catalyst for James's journey, and despite the dread lurking in his heart, he finds himself drawn to the eerie town. The promise of seeing Mary again, or at least uncovering the truth, is too potent to resist. With a heavy heart and a mind full of questions, James steps into the enigmatic town of Silent Hill. As our protagonist, James, steps into Silent Hill, he finds himself in a world shrouded in fog and mystery. The town, cloaked in a thick, relentless mist, seems eerily both familiar and alien. It's as if the fog itself breathes life into Silent Hill, transforming it from a mere backdrop into an enigma, a character of its own. Silent Hill's streets whisper tales of dread. Its buildings hum with an air of desolation, and its corners echo with the screeches of grotesque, otherworldly creatures. Each step James takes into the town's depth, each turn he makes, only serves to deepen the sense of foreboding. The town is a labyrinth of fear, a maze of anxiety that grips James and refuses to let go. Every sight, every sound, every encounter in this ghost town seems to mirror the turmoil within James. In this town of nightmares, James finds a glimmer of familiarity in an unexpected form. In the midst of this foggy nightmare, James encounters Maria, a woman who seems to be a mirror image of his late wife. Maria is an enigma, her existence a puzzling piece in the intricate jigsaw of Silent Hill. She bears an uncanny resemblance to Mary, yet her personality is starkly different. She is flirtatious and provocative, a stark contrast to Mary's gentle and nurturing nature. Maria's presence in Silent Hill is as bewildering as the town itself. Is she a ghost, a doppelganger, or a figment of James's guilt-ridden mind? Her intimate connection to Silent Hill and its eerie inhabitants only deepens the mystery. Yet Maria's role in the story is pivotal. She serves as a constant reminder of James's grief and guilt, pushing him towards the chilling truth that lies within the foggy borders of Silent Hill. As the mystery deepens, James stumbles upon a chilling memento from his past. As James delves deeper into Silent Hill, he uncovers a disturbing piece of his past. In a forgotten corner of the town, he stumbles upon a videotape an artifact from a time he'd rather forget. The tape spins a chilling tale, revealing the harsh reality of Mary's illness and her time in this eerie town. As the grainy images flicker on screen, we see Silent Hill through Mary's eyes, her suffering and despair painted in stark relief against the town's gloomy backdrop. The discovery of the tape is like a punch to the gut. A raw and unflinching look at a painful chapter in James's life he'd been desperately trying to escape. The revelation hits him hard, the weight of Mary's suffering and his own guilt crashing down on him like a wave. The truth, once out, cannot be put back in the box. Haunted by this revelation, James finds himself hunted by a monstrous embodiment of his guilt. The terrifying figure known as Pyramid Head emerges from the shadows, relentlessly pursuing our guilt-ridden protagonist. This menacing entity, with its triangular helmet and massive sword, is the embodiment of James's guilt and self-loathing, a relentless reminder of his past sins. Pyramid Head's unyielding pursuit of James is not merely a physical threat, but a psychological one, representing the inescapable torment of guilt that gnaws at James's psyche. This monstrous figure is a creation of Silent Hill, a town that seems to mirror the inner demons of those who dare to step foot in it. As such, Pyramid Head is more than just a foe to be defeated. He is a symbol of the psychological horror that underpins James's journey. He serves as a constant reminder of the torment that James carries within himself, a torment that can only be faced, not fled from. As James continues his journey, he uncovers a horrifying truth about his beloved wife. Within the grim walls of Brookhaven Hospital, James confronts the darkest corners of his psyche. This once place of healing now echoes with the silent screams of revelations too painful to bear. Here in the heart of Silent Hill, James stumbles upon the bitter truth about Mary's fate. The sterile hospital surroundings devoid of any warmth serve as a chilling backdrop to the unveiling of Mary's demise. 
A crushing realization dawns upon James, the role he played in his wife's suffering, his culpability in her untimely end. The sorrow, the guilt, it all comes crashing down, threatening to shatter his already fragile sanity. James is forced to look at the man in the mirror, a man he barely recognizes, a man capable of unthinkable actions. His own denial, his own self-deception crumbles into dust. With this newfound knowledge, James encounters a tormented soul mirroring his own pain. James's path crosses with Angela Orozco, a woman haunted by her own tragic past. Angela, much like James, is a lost soul drawn to Silent Hill, a town that seems to feed off guilt and despair. Her story is as tragic as it is mysterious, marked by familial abuse and the weight of unresolved trauma. Angela's presence in Silent Hill is not a coincidence. This town, shrouded in fog and filled with nightmares, has a way of calling to those burdened by guilt. As we delve deeper into Angela's story, we see a reflection of James's journey. Both are grappling with their pasts, both are hunted by their demons. Silent Hill, in all its malevolent glory, serves as a mirror to their tortured souls. As James reaches the end of his journey, he faces the culmination of his fears and guilt. Angela's tragic tale is a stark reminder of the town's power to manifest internal struggles into horrifying reality. In the heart of Silent Hill at the Lakeview Hotel, James confronts the horrifying truth about his past. This once grand establishment, now an eerie husk of its former self, serves as the backdrop for the game's climactic showdown. It's here that the threads of mystery, guilt and horror converge, weaving a tapestry of revelation and remorse. James's journey through Silent Hill has been a descent into his own psyche, a labyrinth of guilt and repressed memories. The Lakeview Hotel, a place of significance in James and Mary's past, is where these memories resurface with a vengeance. The hotel is a physical manifestation of James's subconscious, where every room and corridor echoes with the whispers of their shared history. The climax of the Lakeview Hotel is a confrontation not with the town's monstrous inhabitants, but with the monstrous truth about James himself. Here, James is forced to confront the reality of his wife's death and his role in it. The revelations are as unsettling as the town itself, casting a new, chilling light on the journey so far. But Silent Hill is more than just a town. It's a supernatural entity that feeds on guilt and despair. The malevolent forces at play have been manipulating James, drawing him into a nightmare of his own making. The town is a mirror reflecting the darkest corners of James's mind and forcing him to face them. As the confrontation unfolds, the line between the real and the unreal blurs. The hotel shifts and distorts, mirroring James's fractured psyche. The haunting atmosphere is amplified by the chilling sound design, creating a sense of dread that permeates every moment of this climactic scene. With the truth laid bare, Silent Hill 2 offers players a range of haunting conclusions. Each ending is a reflection of James's journey, a testament to the game's psychological depth. Whether it's redemption or damnation that awaits James, the final confrontation at the Lakeview Hotel is a masterclass in horror storytelling, leaving players with an unforgettable experience. Silent Hill 2 is a game of choices, and each choice can lead to a different chilling ending. These endings are not simply arbitrary conclusions, but rather poignant reflections of James Sunderland's psyche and the mystifying influence of Silent Hill. Some endings may depict James succumbing to his guilt, while others hint at a glimmer of redemption or even a supernatural twist. Each ending peels back a layer of this complex narrative, revealing more about James's character and the town's enigmatic nature. Whether it's a hauntingly bleak conclusion or an unexpected turn of events, these endings provoke thought and challenge perceptions. The endings of Silent Hill 2 are as much a part of the game's chilling charm as its atmospheric settings and disturbing creatures. They serve as a reminder that in Silent Hill, nothing is quite as it seems, and the truth is often more terrifying than fiction. And thus concludes the haunting journey of James Sunderland through the foggy town of Silent Hill.